Hey creators, let's make a photo cube. Start out with any kind of three quarter inch wood you'd like. For my cube, I'm using cherry. You want to start by cutting the wood into strips. The width and length will depend on what size cube you want to make. The important thing to note here is that they're all the exact same width and length, and you'll need 20 of them in all. After you have all the pieces cut to length, you'll want to put a 45 degree miter on each end. Setting up a stop block really helps with the consistency of this step. Cut one end, flip it over and turn it, and cut the other end. Ultimately, we're trying to make a small picture frame here. After you have them all cut, the next step is gluing each individual frame together. The easiest way for me to do this was to use a rubber band. I then used a block of wood with a 90 degree corner on it to help me snug it into position. Then I just double check the squareness by measuring corner to corner. After they're all dried, it's time for sanding. If you're like me and don't make very good miter cuts, you can cram some wood putty in the cracks as well at this time. Then you can fine sand some of those cracks where you place the putty to get that oiliness off the wood. The last thing you need to do as far as the frames are concerned is apply some kind of finish. I used a quick dry spray lacquer, but you can use whatever you prefer. Let it sit to dry and then move on to cutting the acrylic sheet. For this step, all you need to do is figure out the inner dimensions of the frame and cut the acrylic sheet just a bit larger than that, probably about an eighth of an inch bigger. I used my bandsaw for this. Perhaps there is a better way to cut this material, but it worked out good for me and the chipping was minimal. After the finish has completely dried, it's time to fix the acrylic windows to the frames. Hot glue works fine for this, but you do need to work fast. Now we're going to fasten together all the frames. You should have five frames that you'll lay out in a plus sign pattern. Through trial and error, we found that the best way to fasten these and still give them some hinging action was poster board. It's stiff enough that the cube isn't floppy, yet it gives enough to allow proper closing. You can hot glue this on as well, making sure each edge is glued to its respective piece and no glue crosses the folding gap. Lastly, you'll want to fashion some way to hold the photos in place. We used the same poster board and cut small strips with angled edges and glued each corner down across the corner of each acrylic window, making sure there isn't any glue where the poster board meets the window. After you've got all the corners done, you can add in your photos. Then flip your cube up and close it and make sure everything came out correctly. If everything's good, you now have a photo cube. Another nice thing about this design is the fact that you can hang it on the wall as well. The photos will need switched around, but it's nice that it has two uses. So thanks for spending these last few minutes with us. Let us know in the comments if you've ever made something similar to this or what you might do differently, especially if you know a better way to cut acrylic materials. And if you haven't already, you can get warm and fuzzy with us by subscribing to Waylight Creations for new how-to and do-it-yourself videos every week. Also follow us on Twitter or Facebook for more creative goodness throughout the week. Stay creative and we'll see you next time.